An idea that could pull billions of federal dollars from Tennessee's schools appears to be in some trouble. House Speaker Cameron Sexton suggested rejecting federal funding because of what he described as strings attached to that federal money. Now, he's never told us what strings he's specifically concerned about, but this week he received some bad news when it comes to that idea. Now, senators who studied the idea recommended against it. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien says the House is refusing to go along with that report. After Speaker of the House Cameron Sexton floated the idea of rejecting federal education funding last year, a joint committee held hearings to look into it. It was a great conversation we had. We had good testimony, a lot of good information. Senate Education Chair John Lundberg helped author a report not saying Tennessee should reject federal funding, but instead should consider moves like requesting a waiver for specific requirements. Perhaps more importantly, though, the report said the Senate and House could not agree on mutual recommendations. The House committee uh, sent it to their speaker's office. They made some changes and sent it back, and we said, you know, we're not quite comfortable there. What were some of those changes? Anything that you could tell me? I think you'd have to ask the House then. So reporters did. We submitted our changes on things that we'd like to include, and they said no. So I think there's four or five things that we're going to uh, work on that the Senate didn't put in their report. Sexton did not divulge what those four or five Five things were. The move comes at a time where relations between the Senate and the House are a bit icy. During last year's special session, the Senate refused to take up more than a couple bills, even though the House passed dozens. But Lundberg says this education disagreement isn't part of a bigger issue. When you put 132 people together, are there differences of opinion? Absolutely. So, you know, do you and your wife agree 100% of the time? No, so probably not. Though Sexton's outlook wasn't quite as rosy. If they're not willing to include what we wanted to, although we said we agreed with what they were wanting to say for the most part, um, then it became where we needed to file our own report, unfortunately. And, and that's where we're moving. We'll continue to look at it. As Sexton alluded to, he says he plans to continue pushing for a a deeper dive into the subject. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Chris also asked the governor about the disagreement in the rift between the two chambers. He said that he had not seen the report and could not comment on it without seeing it first.